How many times did a parent yell at you for stepping on your Legos as a kid? For some, the value of Legos goes beyond the amusement of watching a parent in pain. They truly spark kids' interest in engineering. Often, that inspiration carries into adulthood. Or maybe some engineers just never grow up. Whatever the case, coming up, I'll share with you two amazing Lego-inspired creations that could revolutionize modern infrastructure one block at a time. Stay tuned. While we can't confirm whether the researchers at Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems played with Star Wars Legos as kids, they have certainly introduced a groundbreaking innovation. Reconfigurable robots inspired by Lego bricks called Hexel. These extraordinary robots are crafted from lightweight hexagonal tiles equipped with magnets that allow them to dynamically reshape themselves. With the help of artificial muscles controlled by electronic pulses, these robots can flex and contract, enabling them to crawl through tight spaces and conquer obstacles with ease. Designed for aerospace, these adaptable robots handle multiple roles, including intricate repairs in the harsh environment of space. Could Hexel repair the Falcon better than Chewbacca or 3PO? Who knows, but the possibilities are limitless, as these robots could potentially perform rescue missions, navigate diverse terrains, and overcome barriers to save lives. Wow, that's a lot of potential from a cluster of hexagons. Coming up, the looking glass transitions to the building glass. But first, it's our premier product highlight sponsored by Mauser Electronics. Yagio Telemechanics Sensors SM952A135 is a cutting edge dual level ultrasonic sensor from the Hyde Park series designed to elevate your detection and alarm applications. With its sleek cylindrical M30 design, this sensor operates on a versatile 12 to 24 volt DC power supply and boasts an impressive sensing range of 0.17 to 3.28 feet. Featuring an adjustable sensing window and durable silicon rubber front, the SM952A ensures reliable performance in any environment. Rated NEMA 4X for indoor use and equipped with an IP67 rating, the Yagio Telemechanics Sensor SM952A135 sensor combines innovation with durability, making it the perfect choice for your next project. Check them out today at Mauser.com. That is an impressive sensor available at Mauser.com, and if you'd like to advance your knowledge of MIMS sensor data gathering, stay tuned for David's Corner. Thanks, Andy. There's lots of different kinds of sensors, we know that, and a lot of them come in this familiar proximity sensor shape. They're, they're the cubes, or sometimes they're cylindrical, made to attach to our automation systems pretty easily. But there's a whole other category of sensors that allow us to create more custom assemblies. And these types of sensors go by the acronym MEMS, which stands for Micro Electromechanical Systems. And buried inside every one of these automation sensors is a small printed circuit board that has sensors embedded right onto it. These sensors are much smaller, like here's a temperature sensor that's attached to the front of a printed circuit board with a wiring harness that gives us access to be able to use it. Here's a small accelerometer. This device is a GPS, and it even contains a small connector to attach an antenna onto. Now why do we not see sensors like this used in industrial systems? Well, the fact is we actually do. These are what's buried inside of the sensors that we use. For example, predictive maintenance sensors or condition monitoring sensors as many companies call them. They contain temperature and accelerometer and often gyroscope sensors to make sure that we're sensing all the vibration and heat that may be building up in our devices. So buried deep down inside those sensors are little tiny integrated circuits like these, but they're attached inside a big tough case that can be strapped to the side of an industrial motor, making it impervious to dust, moisture, and that constant vibration. And then the signals that we use come out of these M12 connectors. Now some sensors, like this GPS or perhaps a radio frequency antenna, may not be familiar in all the sensors. Do we really need a GPS sensor in our equipment? Well, the answer is sometimes we might. As sensors continue to get better and more evolved and the systems get more complex, the information that we can collect from those also becomes more complex. So we'll start to see more of these kind of sensors, 
where they're custom designed onto a circuit board to be able to deliver the right information that we can. But when we break open those tough cases on the outside, what we see inside are the more sensitive printed circuit boards with these micro-electromechanical systems, or MEMS, sensors that are installed safely inside being protected. Andy, back to you. Cheers, David. You know, glass gets a bad rap for being fragile, but it's all in how you make it. Engineers at MIT have made recycled glass hard as a brick and can even be connected as if they were Legos. Shaped like figure eights, these ingenious bricks interlock seamlessly and are strong enough to build buildings. What makes these glass bricks unusual is that they are 3D printed from molten material. This allows engineers to meticulously control their properties while creating a sustainable building solution. If a brick reaches the end of its life, no problem. It can be easily recycled. Just grind it down, melt it, and 3D print it all over again. Not only does that sound fun, but it also cuts out the waste. Imagine a construction future where buildings can be effortlessly assembled and disassembled, paving the way for eco-friendly architecture that prioritizes sustainability. So the next time you're about to holler at your kid when stepping on a Lego, think of it as a possible milestone for something extraordinary. That does it for us. Hey, check out our other videos and we'll see you next time.